Look, the world and the country are going nuts and so many people are running from reality and the truth. Uh, I could fill the whole hour with examples of this nonsense and hypocrisy. But let me run through a few at the top of the program tonight. Let's start with Senator Lydia Thorpe. Yeah, I know we've already heard too much from her and we've spoken too much about her, but when it comes to whether or not she remains in the Senate, whether or not she made her oath of allegiance properly or whether she has broken it, this is important stuff. And I'll show you all the bizarre and relevant comments tonight. Yesterday, with calls for her to resign from Parliament resounding around the country... Thorpe told the ABC she hadn't really made the oath back in 2022. I don't remember uh, doing that. Uh, and I swore allegiance to the Queen's hairs. If you listen close enough, it wasn't her heirs. It was her hairs that I was uh, um, giving my allegiance to. And now that, you know, they're not, no longer here, I don't know where that stands. But, right, so what's uh, the significance no, of that? I'm not my job. I'm right. not resigning. Pretty embarrassing stuff, isn't it? She's like a toddler closing her eyes and covering her ears and screaming. But sure enough, she did say hairs. True allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her hairs and successes according to law. I reckon most of us would put that down to mispronunciation. But not content with this idiocy, Thorpe also objected to the whole practice. I'm not an expert on the colonial laws. Uh, the only um, experience I've had with colonial laws is the violence of them and the violence of pledging allegiance to the oppressor is, is absolutely out of date and absolutely a disgusting thing to make someone do. Of course, there's an easy way to fix all this. If she hates the system so much, quit Parliament and give up the pay and perks worth upwards of $300,000 a year. And there are plenty of people gunning for her. Pauline Hanson told us last night that she's keen to get rid of Thorpe from the Senate. I'm actually going to chase up and refer her to the High Court. I'm going to look at this procedure. She admits that she never gave the oath of allegiance which she should under Section 42 of the Australian Constitution. If not, we refer her under the new laws passed by the privileges. And Coalition MPs have been calling for a close look at whether Thorpe could be expelled. Perhaps it was fear of losing her pay, platform and privileges for the next three and a half years... Who knows? But something prompted the senator to change her tune entirely when she appeared on Sky News this morning. Now, forgive me for not being, um, you know, my, my English grammar uh, isn't as good as, as others and I spoke what I read, uh, so I misspoke. Uh, and to have this country question, or particularly you know, people like Dutton and um, other senators from his party, for them to um, question my legitimacy in this job uh, is, is an insult and they can't get rid of me. Yeah, and for once in her life, it seems Thorpe might be correct. They probably can't get rid of her. The nation is stuck with her. We just, we just have to wait for her term to expire in three and a half years' time. Wouldn't it be nice if we could ignore her until then?